Welcome, one and all, to Luigi Super Luigi Galaxy. I will host you through whatever we're gonna be end up doing. Right now, I think we're just feeding the uh, the hungry Luma some thousand star uh, star bits. He's gonna totally rob me of my star bit bank. But you know that's okay. It's not like I was doing anything with those star bits anyhow. So I think I'm just gonna feed the hungry Luma. I don't think I'm actually gonna take care of the level that he he has in store for us. No, yeah, because I am I, yeah, I'm taking on this new This new wondrous looking house. What what could this be? The gate? It looks like Not only does it look like it is the first planet that we were on at the beginning of the game This has a very special star in here But and a very special cutscene with Rosalina I don't really recall what goes on in here, nor am I gonna actually read this, but apparently she finds this planet dear to her. Hundred years, it's kind of a long time just to th throw an anniversary, you know? Like a hundred year anniversary every hundred, like that's a long time. You're obviously not gonna live that long, or maybe you will, you're just some sort of freak that never dies. But you know. So we have a little red luma and purple coins and about a hundred of them. If you recall from Super Mario 64 Sun or Sunshine, if you get a hundred coins, you'll get a star or a shine sprite. In this game, it's a little bit different. They actually have coins devoted to getting a hundred of them. The purple coins. If you get a hundred purple coins, you will get a star. I believe, yeah, it's a hundred, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously it's a hundred, but like some levels have more than a hundred uh, purple coins, and then it's just like you don't have to get all of them; you just have to get a hundred. So, using this newly obtained power, the red star, you can actually fly when you uh, use the spin attack or the spin. You know, yeah, the spin attack. That's what it would be called. So, really nifty. You are timed though on this. Like this is like a timed thing. I believe. Maybe the the the, uh, the wing cap in 64. This is sort of like its predecessor. That would be its predecessor, maybe. But the only downfall is I can't use the spin without flying, so it's a bit weird and awkward. And as the music speeds up, that's how you can tell that your power is being depleted or your time is running out. It's more of a appropriate term. But you know, once you run out, you can always go back and get another red star. And I think they're scattered across this level as well, so you're not going to have too much trouble relocating a red star. The only problem is perception, really, in getting this ring of purple coins. I mean, but that's just for me. I mean, some people just have, like, were born to fly, and they can just do this without even looking, pretty much. But not for me, no. I, I need to, like, dead on concentrate and suck at it as well. So, you have that, and they're, believe me, they're scattered all over the place. Some are in bubbles, some are not. Some are just, like, floating on little things. But there's no, like, time to this level. You just you just take as long as you have to, really. Which is sort of, like, a, a weird thing, because, like, that just... It, it's just a long and tedious level, really. And it's it gets a bit annoying, honestly, but... I think that we took care of all the the uh, the coins. No, we didn't. There's one more in that bubble up there. And I guess that means that spinning doesn't spinning in the air doesn't take care of uh, flight. So that's a bit strange. So I, let's take another prowl, maybe. And I don't. Yeah, there's no more, no more in the ring. Oh, uh, bubbles. So we're just gonna stop here because there's some on the roof. Which is a bit awkward, but hey, look at that! Spinning! Spinning collects purple coins. Who woulda knew, right? Who woulda thunk it? So that's another uh, very nice way to collect purple coins because sometimes they're in like giant circles and you just, you know, spin. And there you go, you get them all. And it takes less time to, uh, to do that than to walk in a circle and collect each one. 
So, it's just one of those nice things that Galaxy had set for us. And <laughs> I guess we're just collecting the, like, we're collecting all these, like, these red stars, but in reality, we don't even need them, so that's kind of funny. Nice, right, so we got a couple more to go. And we get a couple of these on these pillars. And a really awkward camera angle. It's just, you know, that's just one of the, the things about Galaxy. You just, you just have these really weird angles. <laughs> too much of a problem. Uh, excuse me, I, I was yawning. That's not a good sign, though. So yeah, like I said, it's the worst of the camera angle as you possibly could get it. But there we go. 99 and 100 if we can actually touch it. So there you go. And there's your red star. That was pretty much the... Oh, no, maybe, no, no it wasn't. I thought that was going to be like the uh, bigger portion of the level. Uh, the video, but well, apparently only six minutes, and that's, I don't even think that's really half of it. Well, that's almost half of it, but still. Maybe it'll take a little bit longer to get this red star. Oh, never mind. I thought we were gonna have to elaborate on this with uh, some backflips and spin jumps and what have you, but nevertheless, we got our red star, and I think now we're gonna be heading on to that uh, Hungry Luma star. But I can't really recall, so... Mm, whatever. We'll just we'll just have to wait and see, maybe. So there's the Hunger Luma. We're gonna not save our game. Oh, oh okay, save the game. Okay, for you. Oh! Then I have... Alright, so it looks like we're heading on to Bowser. So that's a fun time. Let's uh, go, you know? It's funny how they just have, like, just go. Like, head to Bowser, yes, no. It's just like, head to Bowser, not yet, or go! It's just a funny thing. So we have a nice little cutscene here where the, where the little magic power goes to the, uh, the, the tip of the iceberg and turns our little observatory into an egg, which is actually a, a rocket ship, or a spaceship. Whatever you want to call it. So now we have a f oh, it looks like a comet now. Who? Wow. How creative. So into the center of the universe is what it's supposed to be. We got flying spaceships. That's another thing. Like, it's enough to have like a flying spaceship, but now it's like they're able to like undergo space flight. It's just sort of. Go, Luigi. Oh, that was a bit weird. So she's just gonna build us a bridge out of magic? That's a bit cool, I guess. And a bit weird. Bowser's flag on there. We just walked into the uh, the castle, but I have a feeling the castle is not what it not what it's supposed to like. It's not what it appears to be. We just walked inside the castle, and this is what's inside the castle, or, you know, what's going on. So, Bowser's Galaxy Reactor. Our mission here is to literally hurt his reactor. This is... This is our mission. We need to hurt uh, Bowser's reactor in the most divine way possible. So, there is going to be some... Uh, skippy, cutty, what have yous. You know, because... I don't want my video to be inferior to any other Let's Play. No, but it, there's some foolish mistakes I make, and they're just not necessary to be in a video. If, you know, we can always make the director's cut. That's that's something we can do later on in the future, even though I'm not going to ever do that. That's a terrible idea. But I think right here, uh, yep, there's one. You know, I just wanted to inform you so, I mean, like, I don't look like a major douche. Because, I mean, like, of course, uh, I was stupid enough to make those mistakes in the first place. I should have practiced a little bit more. But, you know, what, what can you do, you know? Plus, this is me doing the fastest run of the, the portion of these levels. And what I mean by that is, you're going to have, like, four, I think, four elemental, like, stages. You have the fire, 
now you have the eyes. So it's just sort of like the um, last minute gimmicks sort of thing. And not, and speaking of gimmicks, you have like the uh, the uh, uh, disappearing and reappearing blocks sort of thing, you know. Even though that's not really a a good word for them, but you know, you have those like those quick. You get what I'm trying to say. So now we have another. We have a sand portion. Don't want to step into the sand, but you know, I think that one was probably the fastest. So now what's after that? More like a galaxy is a futuristic looking one, I suppose. I can't really label this one. It's like a crystal. I don't know what that is. But you know, it has the gravity sort of aspect to it, so that's cool. There's a little strange like thing that if you long oh uh, well if you long jump through that anyways, like even when the uh the fire stick or the fire bar, whatever those are called, that it's just sort of like heading to it towards you. You can still like long jump through it. It's kind of weird. But here we have like a Bowser Castle related, a Bowser like a more of a Bowser Castle, uh, a generic Bowser Castle sort of theme planet, I suppose you could call that. With you know bullet bills, magna bills, lava, sinking platforms, rotating platforms, you name it. And look. There's a light at the every end of the tunnel, because there's our star, and that's our goal. And I think at the end of that star, that's pretty much where Bowser's going to be, uh, where Bowser's going to be. We're going to have like a flight of stairs, and we're just going to have to climb up that. But you know, not too bad of a, a level, really. Not too bad. Although it seemed for everyone I first played this, because you know, it was like an hour's worth of recording through all the mistakes I made. But you know, here we go. Bowser Jr. in his little copter, and yeah, we kind of are looking for Princess Peach. And what was what was that? She just sort of called out to Luigi, and then she just sort of like she started praying. Bowser Jr. is like humongous in comparison to the rest of his, the rest of the games he has been in. But you know that could be the same thing said for Bowser, so. There's really no, there's really no generic size for Bowser, there's just, you know, however they feel like, however big they feel like making him for that particular game, that's just sort of how big he's gonna be. But, you know, we make it to our little battle scene, our little battle field, is what I was trying, was what I wanted to say beforehand, but whatever. We're gonna start crying anytime soon because there's something that's gonna happen. So Bowser is trying to make a galactic empire. It's, it's, yeah, <laughs> I don't I don't get what the big deal is because I mean like you couldn't even capture the Mushroom Kingdom, let alone any other kingdom that you try to overrun. So I mean like what makes you think you can overtake a galaxy? You know. Or even so, if you got this far with trying to overrun a galaxy, how on earth did you, how on earth are you not able to overrun just a simple kingdom? Like, Bowser really needs to get his shit together, honestly, because, like, he sucks. Like, you know, I was always, like, you, you wonder, like, Bowser's never gonna, he's never gonna be able to, to make it. He's just gonna be the biggest disappointment. But you know, Bowser, um, uh, these parts of Bowser eats only uh, two hits. You only have to hit him two hits, and then I'll go on to his next phase. So the first one was in a rocky sort of formation. You just had to hit his face, much similar to those red-eyed rock things that burst open when you burst them open. You get star bits. That's sort of the same. Uh, that same similar uh, theme, I suppose. But here you have a wrecking ball, spike ball, Bowser. And there's nothing that can take him out except for these little balloon things that can also act as a shield to his fireballs, which is really nice. So all you have to do is just spin attack one of those when he draws near, when he draws near, and then you know he'll rotate on his back and you have to hit him via spin jump, so or, or spin attack. So not too complicated, although he does roll around and starts breaking coin crystals. So that can get annoying because, you know, you can't save your crystals or break them open. So you just have to find an even amount. 
shoot some. I mean, then again, you still have these uh, these gold little circle things on the ground that you can shoot star bits at. But I don't think you really have a lot of star bits to begin with. So now we move on to the last portion, which is pretty much just like your the average basic uh, fight when you first fall Bowser. He's gonna roll around this spike ball, and then he's gonna come out of his spike ball and do the high jump at you. Which is gonna land on one of these little, these little uh, glass bubble things that reveal a lava center, centre. So from that you can just hit him, or and uh, bleh, then he'll just go on his back and you just spin him around the planet. So that was the first time, and we only have but one more to go to defeat Bowser. So the end's drawing near, and it's it's getting tense, you know. Because look how many rings he like I can't even I can't even comprehend all the rings that he just employed on that. But here we'll just make him land on this once more. Black his tail. And he'll be on his merry way. Just sort of like a couple of spin tack finishers. And poor Bowser will fall to his death. You know, even though, you know, Bowser will die. Which never, like, I don't know. Like, that never surprised me as much. It's just sort of like. I mean. In pretty much in the end of a lot of Mario games, Bowser is sent to like a, a lava. He sent to like a lava demise. But you know, like since the beginning, the first Mario game, I mean, like all the Bowsers, I mean, like even though they weren't real, still, like the Bowser is sent into like a lava pit. I mean, he always comes back. So I don't think lava is Bowser's weakness. <laughs> you know. But whatever. Not the biggest deal. I got bigger fish to fry, right? So we got our grand star. Wow. What a lovely little thing. So thank you for watching. And in the next part, we're going to be taking on some credits.